Last episode, we went to the nether and grabbed all the wither skulls we could so we could create a wither. This episode, we're going to be taking him out and we're going to be building an animal level on our farm. Stay tuned. There it is. Okay, let's throw... I'm going to throw one more regen. Get ready. Get in there. I'm gonna mine this hole out a little bit more. Do you wanna come back and regen a little bit? Yeah, I can already confirm with certainty that this fight in Bedrock is way harder than it is in Java. But regardless, the Wither ended up spawning skeletons. Wither skeletons? Holy fuck, Holy what was fuck. that? I I've never know. seen that before. I'm about to Dude, die, we're... hold on. She's focusing me. Tunnel over here, dude. Tunnel over here. Get over on me. I am. I'm trying. <clears throat> I'm about to die. Used one Yo, totem. Get over me. Come to me. Yep. She's gone. She's gone. She's moved. Yeah, now at this point, I'm scared. I don't know if we're actually going to survive this. At first, it was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be an easy fight. Yeah, I was wrong by a mile. How long is withering? Dude. Seven. I have three hearts. I can't. Oh, oh. Get back, get back. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. We can go further this way. Yeah, I was on one heart and I wasn't using my insta heal pot. I don't know why. I guess right now I was just feeling really confident about not dying. It's like a know. five minute effect. But I'm gonna die, guaranteed I'm gonna die. No, you're not. You you overheal it. You overheal it. No, I'm not. You didn't have a fucking totem? No, I said I didn't. Why? Because I, I, I used, I used them all. He fucked me up. You used three fucking totems? Yes. I must avenge Ethan. I, I can't let the series end here. I'm gonna avenge you. If I avenge you, you come back. That's not how we end. Can you die? God. The final blast using my final totem. That was the closest fight yet. Luckily, we were in a boss battle, so Ethan can come back. But regardless of that, we grabbed the nether star, went over, made a beacon, and now we can start building the farm. This is one of the first times I've ever done like a time lapse talk or whatever people call it in the Minecraft community. But I guess the first question I could ask you guys to put in the comments is, how is your guys' summer going so far? Back to the build though, we ended up going around and putting a layout on what we actually wanted everything to look like. I also saved Ethan's life from this creeper and our build because that creeper would have been so irritating. Finally though, with the whole layout done, we could finally start putting in blocks. First, we were going to do all of the blocks that we had, then we could go farm resources. So first off, we are going to be doing all of the ground in stone bricks. Honestly, I think it looks good. It is rather basic and I guess stereotypical at the end of the day, but in the end of the build of everything, I think it actually fits really well. Be sure to let me know down in the comments though what you guys think. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. After going around our base and grabbing a few stacks of logs, I came back with also a few water buckets and it was finally time to start placing the fences. 
The fences ended up taking a little bit longer than we expected because we didn't actually plan to have to put them next to each other. We were going to put them diagonally, but totally spaced that that doesn't keep the animals in. Regardless of that though, I was now going around with white stained glass. And the main reason I was doing white stained glass is I wanted a form of stained glass mm -hmm. and I was sitting at the XP farm for a really long time. So we had bones galore. It definitely looks weird as shit. Imagine spending all of that time getting the glass and actually placing it and then someone telling you that. But regardless of that, we still needed light up top. An excessive amount of these, but I guess we'll just keep them. There was only a few more things we needed to do, then we could bring the animals. Granted, taking the animals all the way from wherever they were to here, we thought was going to be hard, but with the experimental biomes, honestly, we are in the perfect area. There is every form of animal, except goat. We didn't end up getting goats. We really should have. Maybe in the next base, we'll end up making like a weird goat farm. Let me know that in the comments. Shoot! And hold, hold forward down. You go so far. I'm keeping that there. We're about six minutes into the video. If you have found yourself enjoying, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you like the base, also be sure to drop a like and subscribe. This is just the farm. <laughs> what else is there to build, really? Well, I mean, actually, yeah, technically our whole base is still on the inside, huh? After cherishing our base and kind of realizing that it's all coming together, we went out for animals. And this ended up not taking as long as we thought, but honestly, still about an hour or two. Okay, you guys, we have been letting the animals breathe for a little bit. I've been AFK, letting the potato farm do its thing, and we're finally fucking done. Finally. I literally had to bring a baby horse because it's the only fucking horse I could find. And also, I think it's because of the custom mm. biomes, but we ended up finding two mushroom cows just literally out in the middle of nowhere. Ethan found them. So he ended up bringing them back. So I put them in the cow pen. Got all of these sheep. Definitely plan on dying a few of them. The chickens for now, just free range chickens. And we got the pigs over here. Pigs have been clearly doing a little piggish shit. But we're finally fucking done with this level. Mm. This level is actually really fun to build. Ethan and I had a good time doing it. Ethan ended up just getting off, but at the end of the day, I did want to show you guys this before I got off. But yeah, let's go grab an aerial view of it. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I ended up getting a little too toned one night and completely forgot to click record. Probably because I was doing stuff under the influence, so at the end of the day, I didn't want to record myself. But also, on top of that, all I really did was just revamp the place and make it look like it's supposed to be here. Because at the end of the day, it just kind of looks like yeah. we placed it here right now. I also added a bunch of glowstone. I found some glowstone and went back to the nether. Yeah, I saw it. I saw that. I am genuinely sorry that I didn't click record, but at the end of the day, I still do want to use this footage and this base because it is so fucking cool. With all of those trees that I added, making it look like all of the stuff has just grown through it, and the water was just so dark, so I decided to go grab some glowstone. Ultimately, I do think it looks awesome. If you guys do have any opinions about it, be sure to let me know. We actually don't currently live here anymore. We've already created a whole new base. So if you guys do want us to eventually come back to this base and build it out more, be sure to let me know down in the comments. But guys, without further ado, I do hope to see you on the next video. If you guys do have more time, be sure to go check out my Nomadic Irishman playlist. We're actually kind of getting pretty deep into here. But guys, without further ado, hope to see you on the next episode. Peace, yo.